love astronomy? A remarkable new telescope from Celestron is on the way. Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from Celestron is CEO Corey Lee. Hi, Corey. Hi, how are you doing, Fred? Good to see you again. Good to see you too. So you have unveiled what you call the world's first intelligent home observatory, the Celestron Origin. It looks like it's going to be uh, really a marvel here. Before we get into the specs, tell us more about the aim here, the experience of what you're going after. Sure, of course. So some of the most interesting objects in the night sky are some of the more faint objects, like galaxies, like nebulae. Um, they're fascinating to see, but it's, relatively speaking, harder, harder to see them. Um, especially from the city, because you need to, a lot of times, if you live in the city, you have to drive out to the middle of nowhere. Um, for example, I'm in LA, I have to drive out to a desert two hours away from here. I'm going to have to take my big telescope, take it out there, get ready to camp for the night. At the same time, and I will see maybe you know, a little smudge. It was fascinating when I first saw um, the Whirlpool galaxy in the dark sky. It was fascinating. Um, in fact, that's what got me hooked into astronomy. Um, so I have always wanted to share the experience with everybody. It, you know, it's relatively more involved to do, um, but with advancement in with camera sensors, new CCD sensors, new CMOS sensors, um, which is a lot more sensitive than 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 the human eye. Um, so in combination with our high quality optics, in combination with these latest generation camera sensors, you'll be able to see a lot of really faint objects up in the sky, relatively speaking, much easier than before. Now we take all that and package in a in a in a package that has uh, a relevant software that allows you to uh, operate the whole system, as well as doing any sort of processing that it needs to do to process the image. So you'll bring out all the details for uh, for the user of the origin. Really easy to use for uh, for anybody who's taking it out. And also at the same time, because we are a real telescope and real optics company, we really wanted to make that, um, in a sense, future future proof and can grow with the origin user as they get deeper and deeper into the interest. Um, so here's, here's how it's gonna work, right? So the first night out, simply you can take the origin to your backyard, flip the switch, turn it on, come back into your living room, pour yourself a glass of wine, make yourself a, 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 a cocktail, get on your couch, and by that time, Origin would have done this thing and to align itself to the night sky so you know where everything is and also be connected to your Wi-Fi network. At that time, you can you know, save on your, your drink, um, check out the mobile app that is on your mobile device, iPad, iPhone, Android phones. At that time, it's fully, fully ready for you to command the origin to point to any objects up in, the, up in the sky and also take a good view of really faint objects and take some pictures. So all that you can do at the same time as you know, if you have friends over, everybody can be looking at that on your big screen TV. If you mirror that onto your big screen TV or everybody can be using that, uh, uh, using their own app on the own mobile device and you can essentially have a local star party in your living room so this is kind of like a social experience too we wanted to uh, bring that social element into the into the product now, i suppose it would depend on what you're looking at but is there a, a certain amount of time it takes for the telescope to be able to gather the light uh, to, to show us these uh, terrific images that's a great question, Fred. I mean, because time is one of the uh, most important elements that we consider when we design the product. Um, that is, that is uh, the primary factor that 
dri that drove us to come up with a new uh, RASA optical system. RASA stands for Road Ackerman Schmidt Astrograph. It's a patented optical system that uh, it's got some unique uh, uh, features to it. It's really big, you know, right? Large aperture and really fast focal ratio at, at f2.2. Um, so what that does for you is you can, with a 10 second exposure, you can start seeing some pretty decent details of you know, a, a galaxy you're pointing at. Um, of course, all of that depends on you know, how faint the object is. For, but for a lot of objects, you can see some really nice details within the first 10 seconds, rather than uh, having to wait more you know, more time. We wanted this to, uh, in, the, in a sense, become closer and closer to a real-time experience, right? Even though we're using a camera, we want to make it as close to a real-time experience of you viewing uh, through a telescope as much as possible, very similar to that. Um, so so what, it, what the origin does is you would take 10-second exposures by default. Within the first 10 seconds, you should be able to see some details. Um, but you keep taking 10-second exposures, and you start st stacking them one on top of another, right? So just bring out the more, the more um, of these what we call subframes that you stack, you stack together. The more details you will bring out, simply because because there's, there's there's a thing called signal to noise ratio. The more of these subframes that you gather, the more of these 10 second shots you bring together and stack on top of one another. The more signal you see, that means the fainter the object will will come up to will will will, will come alive. More and more details you'll be able to see. So the user have a lot of choices, right? I mean, they can just go, okay, well, I'm happy to see a yeah, one minute exposure, which is you know, six, 10 second shots, or they can just let it go on for 30 minutes, right? They can let it go on for even longer than that. So you even bring out even more details, but for really fast optical system like the RASA that we have decided to employ with the origin, you can see some really, really, really interesting details very quickly within the first couple of shots. And the idea is that the telescope is doing the tracking of these objects and, and finding them to start with. There's not a lot of work on your part, right? That is the key, Fred. We want to make it really use easy, right? Because observing the night sky should not be a chore, should not be something that requires a, a PhD degree, right, to operate um, the device. So with the origin, we have a lot of built-in features. The whole idea is observing the night sky should be easy. We want to take all the frustrations and all the learnings away. With origin, we have um, employed a lot of different technology. Some of the technologies that we have um, uh, we had to develop over the years, um, over many years, over the past few years, um, including um, our star sense technology, which is a which is a way um, to allow the a, a, the origin to identify what it's pointing at, so you can figure out how to navigate the night sky without the user having any knowledge of the night sky. Um, and there's other things that we had to do to make all that happen, right? Um, you know, we had to come up with a really user-friendly mobile app. Um, a mobile app you know, we developed in conjunction with a company called Simulation Curriculum, uh, a company that uh, developed Sky Safari, the leading um, planetarium app uh, available today. Um, so with all that, if you observe, if you're observing the night sky, you can command the origin to let's say take an image of the whirlpool galaxy. So while it's imaging, the app itself has got actually a lot of interesting contents. You, you you can learn a little bit more about the whirlpool galaxy. At the same time, there's also audio clips that that you can listen to at the same time with with your family, your friend, while the origin is doing its thing. 
So just, just right, terrific. Whole, and this is updatable too, right? I mean, because this from, from time to time, there are new discoveries, new events taking place that uh, you can stay up to date with, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Over here in Celestion, we want to make sure that the experience is not going to, uh, you're not going to outgrow the experience, right? So the, the app is constantly being updated. And I think that's how, um, how, how basically any app users is, is expecting um, the app developers to treat their apps now, right? To make sure that everything is constantly being updated. So the apps are constantly being updated. And at the same time, we're adding features still to our origin itself. There will be future, future uh, 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 features added. Um, one thing that we have is in, within our roadmap is to allow for long exposure photography, actual photography. So, at, you know, right, so right now, right out of the box, right, right out of the box, Origin is really already user friendly. So anybody who is just getting into um, uh, the hobby of exploring the night sky can use it. But if you want to get deeper into it. To take, lo to take longer exposures, you know, maybe a minute exposure, right? Five minutes exposure, even longer than that. Um, you really have to align it to the uh, to the polar, to the pole, to the North Pole, and it's what we call polar alignment. So there are features that we are adding to the to the system that will allow you to do that. All I'm trying to say is origin right now. It's very user friendly, but at the same time, it's we are going to be continuing to add features um, to, in a sense, make it a future proof device, something that advanced user can appreciate. And, and right, the advanced users too. So, what's the response you've gotten since this was announced recently uh, from the astronomy community? Yeah, the response has been great. I think. Uh, in a sense, because Celestron has been in um, the astronomy business for more than 60 years, everybody's been kind of expecting um, Celestron. Well, what is Celestron going to do with some of the latest technology available? Uh, uh, is Celestron going to eventually come up with a smart observatory type of system? And here we are. We're delivering uh, what people are expecting us to eventually come up with, and we're exceeding the expectation um, there is a lot of buzz regarding what we are using, the optical system we're using. The RASA 6 optical system is something that's developed from scratch just for the origin. The fact that it's, it's, it's really large aperture and really fast focal ratio and something that is patented and only Celestion can do, um, it, it, it brings a lot of excitement. People recognize a lot of... Uh, 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 users within the industry, they realize, oh, wow, this is going to make a big difference in in, uh, in the experience. Not necessarily a just a, another smart device, but it brings to the table something that uh, at the moment nobody else can do, a really fast optical system that makes the experience a lot closer to real time. Really exciting. So bottom line, when can people buy it and for about how much? Well, you can... It's actually available for pre-ordering right now on Celestion.com. It goes for $39.99, $3,999. It, it comes with everything that you need to get you going on the first night. All you need is just get it charged up, put it out to your backyard. It's ready to go. And we are, so we, we are uh, um, taking pre-orders right now, and we'll be able to start shipping later in later first quarter this year so for, by, by the spring this will be in, in people's hands by late spring you will be ready and for more information of course visit celestion.com there, there there's a lot of details on the product as well as some really interesting uh videos that shows you the, what or, what the origins are about as well as what you can deliver for the user. Sounds like a great uh, family purchase that uh, everyone can can have fun with in the family. The site again is celestron.com. Corey Lee, thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Fred. Thank you for your time. <laughs>